In this video, let's take a look at the out of box experience of your new Beagle 5 Fireboard. To get started, you will need a USB data cable of type A to type C or type C to type C. Now connect Beagle 5 Fireboard to your computer. Once connected, you will see green power LED and some blue user LEDs glow. When fully booted into the Ubuntu image pre-installed on the eMMC storage on board, you have multiple ways to access the Beagle 5 Fireboard from your host computer. First option is to use cockpit by visiting beagle5.local colon 9090 on any browser of your choice. Second option is to connect the UART interface initiated by the board using any serial device I.O. tool like TIO or PuTTY. Please note, you don't need any additional USB to UART adapter for this. Third option is to create SSH connection with the command SSH space Beagle at the rate 192.168.7.2. While device is connected, to use cockpit, open up your favorite browser and go to beagle5.local colon Because of no valid SSL certificate installation, you will be prompted with this screen. Here you have to click on advanced and then click on accept the risk and continue. Your cockpit default credentials are the same as your UART and SSH connection credentials. Once you are logged in, you have access to your system information in real time. The integrated web terminal provides you easy access to the shell. On a Linux machine, the UART connection comes as slash dev slash tty acm0 if Beagle 5 Fire is the only UART device connected to the computer. It will be different if multiple devices are connected or if you are using Windows or Mac. To access the console, I am using a command line utility called TIO but you can use any other application of your choice like PuTTY. Credentials are the same as before that is Beagle and Temp PWD and with that we have access to the console now. To gain access to Beagle 5 Fireboard via SSH, you have to execute the command SSH space Beagle at the rate 192.168.7.2. Now type yes to add the device to the known host list and then provide the password temp pwd to successfully gain the access. Now you have multiple ways to access your board via host computer. Let's take a look at the board component location. This is what we have on the front side of the board and this is what we see on the back side. For connecting your Beagle 5 Fire board to the internet, use an ethernet cable and connect between your board and your router. To confirm the connection, you can run the ping command and if ping is successful, you can start updating and upgrading the pre-installed Ubuntu image. To update the gateway image of your Beagle 5 Fireboard, you have to go to the location slash user slash share slash beagleboard slash gateway. Here we have some pre-built gateway images that we can install using change-gateway.sh script. After executing the script, it will take a minute or two to install the new gateway image and after that, the board will automatically reboot. To confirm if the gateway image is flashed correctly, you can check out slash proc slash device tree slash chosen slash overlays and you should see some device tree overlay entries that matches with the gateway image installed on board. I am resetting the gateway image to default to show you the difference. To list the GPIO pins, you can use the command GPIO info. And to control the pin, you can use command GPIO set space GPIO chip ID space pin number now without space you have to type equals to 0 or 1 where 0 is for low and 1 is for high.
दिस इज द पिन आउट डायग्राम ऑफ पी एट केप हेडर एंड दिस इज द पिन आउट डायग्राम ऑफ पी नाइन केप हेडर टू यूज एनी जी पी आर पिन वाया सिस क्लास एल ई डीज इंटरफेस यू हैव टू फर्स्ट अपडेट द कर्नल एंड देन गेट द कस्टम गेट वेयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड बाई फॉर्किंग द बीगल फाइव फायर गेट वेयर रिपोजिटरी एंड एट लास्ट यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल दैट कस्टम गेट वेयर इमेज टू एक्सेस ऑल द जी पी आर पिन फ्रॉम सिस क्लास एल ई डीज इंटरफेस All the commands you need are already included in the README file of GPR LEDs Gateway repository. Here are those exact commands that you have to execute for this to work. To update the kernel, you have to run these three commands. To add the custom gateway, execute these commands. And to finally install the custom gateway, you have to execute the following. a tutorial link on how to create your custom gateway image and all the other relevant links can be found in the description box below for further documentation on how to use your beagle 5 fireboard go to docs.beagleboard.org